Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe. And today we are going to do a painting on an 8x10 canvas using all Artist Law Flow acrylic paints mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, these are, the colors we're going to use are black, gold, blue, yellow, a blue that I mixed, it's dark and kind of like a navy color, really pretty, and then the neon yellow, just because I'm very low on regular yellow. Um, we're going to pour it into here, and then we're going, we're going to do something with this. <laughs> um, before we get started, I'm going to put a layer of white on the canvas, so I'm going to do that right now. I'll speed you up through this part. We're gonna call that good. I was just planning to pour it in here and pour it out like that. But there's really nothing blocking it here. So I, uh, theoretically, it could go this way. Theoretically. I think we're gonna stick with the original plan for today, but in the future, we may use it that way and see, see how it goes. Uh, I'm actually going to walk around to this side to do this part just because it's the, I'm right handed. <laughs> so otherwise I'll be reaching across the entire time. So, And I have absolutely no rhyme or reason to what I'm about to do here. Never done it before. Apparently we're doing a little bit of black on the bottom. Uh, I did like the blue and yellow one we did. I believe it was for today's Saturday. Friday was the glue, so Thursday was probably that one, um, with the yellow and blue with white and silver. Um, so that's why we're maintaining that color scheme here today. Um, the, the painting just turned out really light with the white and the silver. So today I'm using the same concept but with black and gold. So that's the purpose of the, the black and the gold here. Um, already in the dustpan we're dripping but more importantly <laughs> it's already looking really cool i'm not too worried about the drips because i'll probably just cover it up however they look really awesome so i'll probably be torn here in just a few seconds once i have to make a decision okay one more little drop of blue through that yellow and we're done. All right, now we're going to come back over here and try to make a mess, which we are very successful at a lot of the time. So I have no doubt that we will not be successful or that we will be successful this time. Not exactly what I was planning to do, but that's what ended up happening. <laughs> But it's okay. Um, it looks really cool. It reminds me of one I did last year. It was kind of Mardi Gras themed. Um, there's no purple in this one other than that navy blue had blue and red mixed together. So, yeah. Less green than we got last time. I'm going to go ahead and torch it real fast and then we'll start manipulating it. Alright, we are back to manipulate here. And there are some areas I really, really like, so we're going to try to maintain some of that. I'm not really going for a negative space, so we're, we'll probably just stretch it out. And there also is a ton of paint on the canvas. So. It's also kind of peacocky themed. I don't know if that's a word. But I can definitely see... Bring it back this way a little, and then back. Mm. I'm just going to move it back this way. We'll let some of that white hang out in the top corner there. Alright. We are going to call that good. 
I'm going to touch up the corners and bring you in for the close-up. We are back for the close-up. First, we're just going to look at this dustpan because it looks really cool. Um, so I will definitely be doing this again in the future and trying to control the paint a little better, control the way it comes out a little better. Um, this time it just kind of poured and dumped everywhere. <laughs> so, um, But good learning experience. Um, I love this. It's definitely have a lot more contrast than the one we did earlier in the week where it was so... Just all the colors are too close together. Um, so I definitely like this one better. Um, lots of little tiny cells. Um, we've got some yellow ones here in the lower left-hand corner. Um, this little section is really cool. Um, that gold in there just makes everything shimmer a little bit, which I really, really like. And then having those two different blues in there helps, I think. Um, really like, just really like this painting overall. Here's the upper right-hand corner where some of those blues and yellows continue to mix. And then I think this section here is my favorite, where those blues and golds and yellows mix in together. It's very sparkly, and I just love it. And then in the lower right-hand corner, we did get some of that white that was our base coat. Uh, it wasn't any intent, but I love that part so much, I didn't want to continue to move it and lose it or have it stretch out too much. So here is our overview shot again. Sorry, you've got the glare on you. There you go, less glare. Um, I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.